all right guys let's continue from where we stop in this tutorial we'll take a look at how we can design this area and this all right without no further ado let's get started i'm diving in into my um website and i'm going to say let me see how it didn't design i think i have a space here a space here a space here the one two three four five let me see five spaces all right one, one two three four five let's take this all right i just want to see if i can probably use this in order for you to you know get this in understood you can see i have some space at the top and at the bottom don't forget our padding yeah and yeah so what i'm gonna do right now is that i'm gonna say i have a space here and a space down below so i'm gonna say uh but the way i'm seeing this space i think the padding shouldn't be more than something like 30 at the top and 30 at the bottom so don't worry by the time you get used to it you understand how to design this very much better 30 at the top and 30 at the bottom you can see if you can see this uh we can see it's quite um the same so i can say 35 all right 35 so that's gonna be at least a little bit uh 35 35 all right good so on the color i can easily pick the color from here color picker pick the color faf6 fa so you can copy it faf6 fa so if you don't have color picker tools you can probably use that to pick a code you can probably cram that code all right from the background um, type i'm gonna say color i'm gonna paste it in, in there so once i do that i can update my website okay fine but then i do that i think i have some text on the can we do this you can see all right one two three four five all right i can easily copy this uh there's one trick i normally use i don't know whether it's going to work this time all right so what uh, the one two three four five one two three four five six one two three four five okay i think this should be like this let's leave it around six or seven and let's do this around six or seven all right this should be larger okay and this should be larger too a little bit you can see the way i'm drawing it all right so what i'm gonna say yeah i'm gonna put that text um, adding text mm -hmm. let's check it out okay i'm gonna paste that in there I think we have some couple of text in there so after that text what we have we have a space and that space is not supposed to be too large so let's just shrink it a little because we can have a space here like this so yeah let's give it uh, something like 16 mm, typography 16 all right and um what else uh hold on a second let me see if we can make this thing like this mm -hmm. all right hold on a second let's see if we can make this thing larger just want to ensure that i have full space in there all right i can have a space in there so if i just try to figure it out anyways so um well uh, you can probably click on this text you can see i'm working on the text and i can see from the text i can say bring it down a little so bringing it down a little means you need to apply some kind of pattern uh the top and pattern at the bottom let me see 10 10 something like that 10 at the top and 10 at the bottom all right you can see this thing is floating wall so you can really change the color anyways I can change the color to black or something. Well, let me see the color anyway. So one is bold and the other one is not bold. Okay. All right. So um, well, what we're gonna do in there is that we're gonna see how we can come to this place and um, services. Uh, let me just say uh, through. I'm trying to look at how we can make this thing work. Yeah i can i want to figure out how i can make this thing a little bit um, typography um okay let me make it bold and this i'll make it lighter typography make it lighter something like that 
oops uh well can we just leave it like this well what we're gonna do is that um probably we can just cut this and make it to be in another section but let's just leave it like this i think uh that's something i would like to implement but um because of the time all right so what what, what i think i should do is that here you just apply b open and close bracket put b at this, at this and here you also have to put b and put a slash so let me show you that's the trick i applied and let me just do it again open and close bracket b and here come here uh, backslash open a close bracket b so we're able to get this one done all right so it is like this you can see so let's see how we can probably work on the button send us a message so how can we do that let's go back here let me update my website let's go back here and um i'm gonna put button in there so the button is not going to be too big okay let's see how we can use this extra small okay let's say send us a message or something send us a message uh, let's say send us a message message all right so from here we can come to the color and um, the way i'm seeing the color can we just make it colorless and uh, in color background color let's just see oh we can this color let's make it something like black border solid let's see the color itself let me just see we can manipulate some stuff and just copy the color if and then paste the color in there so the text should be something like black text color should be something like um, not totally black okay okay but you know the entire border border solid mm, let's make it one okay and um by the time you look at it can we make it two can we make it three i just want to ensure that it is thicker so let's update it i think we're good now so let's see uh, uh so another thing i would like to do is another thing i would like to do is um let's update our website and um figure out how we can get this one done and um i think let me stop for now so that i get this thing done and in the next tutorial we're going to see how we can finish the footer and until then happy designing